English is used to understand each other dialect. I don't have to be perfect in it. I don't care if I'm I'm doing by the way, there's no such thing as broken English. You just speak it. Broken English is applying when you are studying. Uh, for when you're studying you're in school there is it applies there broken English. So the teacher will mark you an X wrong. But if you're out there in the world, enjoy yourself, speak English the way you want. Uh, this picture my wife brought uh, as a gift to me. Uh, it means uh, in our retirement, that should be the view we see. That should be our house right there, live by the beach, the coastal region. She comes from coast, by the way. But <laughs> we are not going to live in coast in our retirement. Uh, we are going back in the country where the birds are chirping, the cows, goats, chicken, and the hill you see, and the cold. Yeah, don't. Uh, you can't be very old and yet feeling hot. Hell no. Well, that's my wife right there. Uh, <clears throat> below that picture. The picture, our future, my wife. <laughs> Cool stuff right there. Oh, my love, my my wife has a good taste of making fancy things like this. So, all right, guys, how are you doing? Hello, everyone, wherever you are in the world, whether it's day or night. Hi, I'm back again. This is your boy, Eric Skate Boy. And this is my first sit-in video where we'll discuss a lot. We'll discuss about uh, many things about, everything about. So if this video is about my channel, why I started it, how it's going on, and what keeps you making more videos. So, eh, let me get my jackets on. Yeah, all good. Yeah, fresh. Man, it's freezing in Nairobi. It's 18 degrees. We we not use this kind of weather. And when it gets to 18, it's really cold. So let me put my jacket on. Don't want to get uh, pneumonia. And people say it's Corona. It's 2021, uh, August the 12th, 2021. And you know, Corona has hit the fourth wave. So Corona is real, guys. It's real, guys. 2021, no joke. Corona is real. So, well, uh, I have uh, my laptop here with me. So each time, you'll see me look in this direction, like this. And I'm checking something real quick as we speak. So, well, let's get down to business. So, what is my YouTube all about? Every time I meet a friend or family member, or I tell people to subscribe to my channel, I get this question, what's your YouTube about or what's your YouTube all about? And I'm like, uh, you just subscribe, go watch my video and then you know all what's all about. You just subscribe. 
but here I'm going to talk in depth the, about my YouTube channel and what it's all about. So my YouTube channel is about traveling. That's the main reason I opened the YouTube channel. I'll tell you later the video. Entertainment. I love entertainment. And lifestyle. Showing people about lifestyle. The channel is called Eric Skateboy's I. Meaning, my name is Eric Skateboy. And you will see the world through my eyes. Yes. So I want to, uh, uh, maybe in 3021 there, my people, my lineage will be saying, we had a, a, a family member in our lineage back in 2020s there. His name was Eric Skateboy. And oh my God, here is, we are seeing the world back then through his eyes. So that's it. That's all my channel is all about, seeing the world through my eyes. So about traveling, I love to travel. I love to road trips. I love, see back then before marriage life, uh, people were saying uh, my marriage life back then, I used to go a lot. I used to love a lot. I used to go on road trips anywhere even if it's not exciting i just go so long as i'm sitting in the car like this uh, being driven around and see the places i don't care even if it is a dangerous zone i just so long as it's traveling i love it i love to travel a lot back then before marriage life damn marriage life anyway so that's how I used to get down on earth, you know, going places. So, and then during that time, when I, I, I love to make videos, whether secretly or people knowing, but the videos were all about evidence. What I know what you did last trip. So if somebody say, oh, the trip was awesome, we had fun. I'm, I'm like that, man. You acted cool, man. You acted cool. You went vomiting all over the place, man. You were embarrassing us. And then when this guy say, Oh no, uh, don't tell people lies. I'm saying, Here's the video. See for yourself. Yeah, that was all about taking the video. But then again, I came to realize, man, oh, all these videos. And then what? Okay, evidence. People love. And that's it. Then what? I can't share with anybody else. Okay, then what? You have to delete the video. So I started a YouTube channel where but every time I'm going for a road trip or lessons, I take a video and share with you through my eyes. I call that video my eyes. So the the gear I use is a iPhone, iPhone 6. I love this phone. I've been with it for many time, many years. Uh, it's never getting lost. If it get lost, I'll buy another one. But uh, this is the only gear I have. Please, my subscribers, anybody watching, if you want to gift me, give me a camera. I'll appreciate and I'll do a video about your gift. So thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you for watching the video up to now. God bless you all. That's where I edit my video. Cool stuff right there. That's my wife. Yeah. So, how do I edit my video? I use a iPhone 6. There's an app called Luma Vision for mobile. So that there is where I edit my video. And for the laptop, I use Adobe Rush, Adobe Rush Premium. That's where I, I edit big stuff, big videos. So, but the, for the small stuff for the phone, just use the Luma Vision, Luma Touch from Luma Touch and laptop, 
Adobe Media, Adobe Premium Rush. Let's continue. So the first video I posted on YouTube channel, or rather made on YouTube channel. Let me check real quick here. It was uh, the first, I mean, serious video. You know, I was posting things on YouTube to see how people will react. Like they talk in Mia Cut, so he speak speaking Mia Cut, and uh, stuff like uh, just uh, random videos. Best, the best events company in the world. By the way, these people, Chesa Events, big up, man. Big up to Nick. Man, these people will take you anywhere in Kenya if you want. They have this uh, fun thing, like a team building thing, where if you you sign up with them, then they take you. They take you places, they play with you. That's the best event company in Kenya. Chesa Events, they are my people. Thank you. So, so the first uh, video I uploaded in the YouTube was the end team Sidai Spa Karen. You know, people go there to get massage. <laughs> it's been long since I uh, massage. No, apart from my wife's, but uh, you know, those professional massage. Anyway, I'll go back there and show you the, now the seriousness of, of that video, if they'll allow me. So it was end team Sidai in Karen. Karen in Nairobi is well by people who have money, people who are rich, people who are who have reached the financial freedom live. Even our vice president lives in Karen. So I went there, I did a video about it. I was so nervous in video in the taking video. I was not that professional. Okay, I'm not even professional right now, but I was not I, I didn't have any idea, let's say let's say that. I didn't have any idea. So I was just going to that place, doing some B-roll of the place. And then when it comes to good things like massage, I switch off my camera, uh, get undressed, and then do massage. And then that's a it, say thank you. And then I forgot, oh, I could have taken a video about this. But oh, well, it's too late. So that's that's how I was two years ago. So this video has 230 views. It's okay. No problem. Those are views. Those are 230 people watching through my eyes. I'm proud. So the next video now that there I became a YouTuber. I became serious. I named this video Travel Vlog Number One. That is SGR Experience. From Nairobi to to from Nairobi to Coast, the SGR experience. So the SGR came by. Uh, we got our first standard gauge railway in Kenya. We only had the locomotive one, but we got the first standard gauge railway. So it was uh, showing people uh, if you want to go to Coast, this is what you use as a transport you go by the train to Mombasa so I was showing guys uh, how it got down to the train and even uh, staying in cost at this uh, five star hotel called White Sand Beach White, White Sand Sarova White Sand yes so I got that chance went by the train to cost showing people what's in the train and I had my friend there and that's uh, that was my first vlog and then it got 576 views <laughs> and then I said wow now now I'm a YouTuber man. then the travel vlog number two during that time the one year ago backwards 2020 something there 2019 one year uh people were were like there was a uh, this uh, game people used to go hiking 
they go to climb mountains, they go to climb Mount Kenya, Mount uh, Longonot. It was all about hiking, hiking. It was a, a big thing. Got a chance to meet me, a group of friends of mine. Uh, we went to the Elephant Hill in Abadea's Ranch. So I showed people what hiking is, man. <laughs> to be honest, hiking wasn't for me. Damn, that thing is so damn serious. <laughs> hey, Elephant Hill, I encourage you to go try, but damn, not bad there. So that was another traveling vlog, went to Elephant Hill, nobody else. And then the next video was the first entertainment video. I got invited by my cousin. I got invited by my cousin uh, who, who, who was doing a pre-wedding, an engagement wedding. So he's a Kalenjin. Also, I'm also a Kalenjin. I come from the tribe, the Kalenjin tribe. We are best known for marathon running, even me, my size and cool for running, you know what I'm saying? But it was best for, we are, we are the best. We put Kenyan map out there. Marathon running, long distance running, that's the Kalenjin. Most of them, Kenyans who run are Kalenjin. They're the world champions. So we did a, a, a video, a vlog, an entertainment vlog. It was about uh, the Kalenjin engagement ceremony. So I showed people how people get down to business, who they eat, they eat uh, everything there. My cousin will all sharp, show them. Uh, and then this video, man, I love it. This video got over 1,000 views. Imagine that. 1,000 views. Then I said, oh man, people love my YouTube. Subscribers were coming in. And then I did a, uh, there was many questions. How do you do a vlog with a phone? So I did how to vlog with a phone. Beginner's guide. Did that video. I posted there. People view the video. And then I came another video. How to edit YouTube video using a phone. Do I stop there? And then I later posted my my YouTube intro video. It's very important. When you when you have a YouTube video, you should have a, a small entry uh, to tell people what your video is all about. So I did a YouTube entry video and I love it. And then the next video I did was about this group. This Kenyan artist, this group of people, amazing. This the youths, the young, the young guys. They came up. There are three of them. They call themselves Bogi Genji. Man, these people release some some of their videos, and the language they spoke in Kenya. When you when you speak English and you mix it with Swahili, it's called Sheng. Sheng. Sheng language. So these people came with a, a different type of Sheng, a futuristic one. We've never heard them before. It's like a, it's like the time traveler. They've come, they've traveled from the future, giving us information and then they go, they go back to the year. These people came up with a Sheng whereby in Kenya nobody knew all about it's a new language in their video so i did a, a reaction video about that verse especially the one of them was called al militar that verse uh, on kidungi this guy did amazing he, he wrapped a, a version of shell we've never had it's not it's not even close to english and swahili different so I did that, got views there, 341, that's okay. 
And then my brother invited me to Coast. My brother still lives in Coast. He said, hey, wait, why don't you come down here? Uh, we have good time, uh, you see. So I did a Mombasa travel vlog, part one. That was it, it was in three parts. So I did the Nyali Beach, Mamangina Drive, and the Fort Jesus and Pangola Jin. Pangola Jin translates to ghost caves. You know, Mombasa is known for the genies, the ghost men, the ghost sighting places there. So I did that. We got views. And then uh, you know how wives are. Oh, my husband, you've been all going alone. You've not taken the family. Then I said, okay, let me start uh, taking my family. Now, telling my family what to do, uh, things to do in Nairobi. Since we are in, I live in Nairobi. So I took my family to this national park. The Nairobi National Park. See amazing animals there. We had a good time with family. It was a like family thing, you know. So I posted there. Still, th that was my last video. So in this vi in that video, now I'll, the first one was Nairobi National Park, KWS things to do in Nairobi. Then I'll go. I'll take my family to another places. Things to do in Nairobi. To another places. Things to do in Nairobi. That's it. So. The language I prefer in my YouTube is English. But if you can listen, my English is plain. No adjectives, no special characters in there, no to make it sound like uh, you are uh, academically, you know. But my English is so cool, so plain, so that everybody in any other country out there will understand what I'm trying to say. The Jamaicans, the Arabs, the Nigerians, South Africans, Japanese, Chinese, even the indigenous tribes in Amazon that have not been contacted by the world will understand my plain English. I don't use uh, English like, uh, sorry for you guys, for my subscriber out there, the world you know you know when people here in africa when people say you speak like the brits or the americans your english is so educated like uh, uh my english is plain can i have a bottle of water simple not can i have a bottle of water what is a bottle of water sorry or uh i i got to go I gotta go. What is a gotta go? What is a gotta? Just, I got to go. I got to go. Simple English. Plain. You will un English is used to understand each other. Darling. I don't have to be perfect in it. I don't care if I'm, I'm doing... By the way, there's no such thing as broken English. You just speak it. Broken English is applying when you are studying. Uh, for when you're studying you're in school, there is, it applies their broken English. So the teacher will mark you an X wrong. But if you're out there in the world, enjoy yourself, speak English the way you want. So question is, how do you handle negative comment in your comment session? Man, I don't know and I don't care. And if I care, I care less. And that less I care, I care carelessly. So negative comment, I'll just write there, okay. But positive comment, I'll give it a thumbs up. That's it for my, hope you enjoy. More information coming soon, if I remember.